Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the top seven SSM admin tools that you need to have in your environment to monitor and troubleshoot issues. And today we're going to be talking about the Client Center. The Client Center will allow you to check client settings, running services, software updates, right-click tools, which is a very popular tool a lot of people use. You can install missing updates. You can add computers to a collection. Uh, CM Trace is a log viewer tool. Support Center, which gathers information about the SSM clients, that gathers all the log files and what have you. Command, Config Man Tool Kit, uh, manages your DS jobs and troubleshoot uh, other issues. Uh, PowerShell, and then there's, um, you know, there's a, a ton of SSM comments that you can do, use to manage your SSM environments, like create collections, like if you have collections that you create every week or what have you, you can automate some of the stuff using PowerShell. And then also the task sequence monitor, which will monitor your task sequence deployment. So with that, let's get started. So I'm going to bring up my SCCM environment. Now the first tool I want to talk about is the Client Center. Uh, so as you can see, I'm just going to right click on, now I've downloaded all of these tools and I've installed them already. Um, there's two that get integrated with this Config Man console, which is Client Center and the right click tool. So I'm going to start with the Client Center. So we'll click on that and it'll bring up the Client Center application. And as you can see, it already connected to my computer that I've right clicked on. And two things you need to have, you need to have WinRM enabled and you need to have port 5985 opened inbound to the client so that you can connect to them. Otherwise you'll get um, issues. And then also to integrate this software center in SCCM, you need to go to console extension and click on register console extension. You can also remove it or register it. So I've already done that. So let's go back. And so you'll have five areas here. You have agent settings, which is where we're at right now. And you can do a hardware inventory, you can do a machine policy updates. Uh, you can do an update evaluation. Uh, you can open up the console if you want to. There's some other components you can take a look at. Um, there's some other customized tools. And there's your, you can enable WinRM if it's not enabled. Let's go back to agent settings. You can see it gives you some general information about the agent settings, the components that are installed, the cache file, all the cache folders. You can clean up some orphan items here. You can uh, reload some cache items. Uh, install repair, this is where you can repair the agent. You can remove the agent. You can install the agent if you want to. You can clean up the manager queue. Here I use um, this tool primarily to uh, verify WMI repository, especially when you're doing deployments, you'll get those errors about WMI. Um, if you, and then you, you can use this tool to reset that. Uh, if you do have to reset WMI, just be aware that you may have to reinstall some of those applications that are on that device that you're having to do this to. You can even register common DLLs. You can check the client health. Using this tool, you can see my past. Um, now, if you go to software distribution uh, section, uh, you can look at the applications that have been targeted. So you can click on, you know, import from application catalog. You can reload the applications. Um, you can install or you can uninstall an application right from here, which is really cool. Advertisements, you can see the advertisements. You can see, you know, um, the date, the value of these advertisements. You can take a look here at some of this other stuff. Um, you can rerun the advertisement. Uh, if there's an error, you want to just rerun it, you can do that here. Um, software summary, you can see, you know, some other software. So you can show pending software. Reload software lists, um, you can do some other stuff here. Here's the history of all of the packages that have been targeted, this machine, the package ID and the package name and the date that last ran. And in the error codes, right now I have all zero, so it'll tell you the error code and the reason if you have an issue there. So, and then also your maintenance window. Inventory. All right, so you can uh, take a look at that. Um, and here you can look at the inventory. Um, you can see pending updates. If there's any pending updates, you can install mandatory. You can install them all. All updates, um, here you can show missing updates. These are the missing updates that are currently missing on this um, particular device that I'm looking at. 
you can look at the installed inventory like all the stuff is installed on here now this is my primary site server so I can either repair and install or uh, repair or uninstall something here so this is really great way to you know uh, troubleshoot software related um, issues there um, let's see inventory and then also monitoring section you can monitor the services that's running on that machine also CM related services that are installed um, you can event monitoring you can do log monitoring so there's a lot of great things you can do with this tool so it's a very handy tool to do a lot of things that you normally would have to remote into a machine and do you can do in the back end here so it just gives you a lot of little things that you can do there um, so that's basically that tool and so next tool that I want to talk about I already went through software center let's see um, client tools now if you install the client tools it'll be installed here toolkit there's client side tools and there's server side tools now for the client side tools I'll look at the uh, deployment monitoring so if I double click on this for example It'll tell you the client properties, the deployments that have been targeted this machine, whether it be a script or a package. Um, it'll tell you what's going on there, all updates. It'll tell you about the updates and the article ID if you're looking for that. You can do some action here. Um, and let's close this out. Um, another tool I use primarily is CS Spy. Well, it kind of gives you information about the software distribution uh, request. You can connect to another. So it basically goes over a software metering inventory and software distribution is kind of what this tool does. Uh, so you can look at the history. Um, now I don't use this particular tool as much, but sometimes I want to look at this. Uh, but the client center gives me a lot more information. Now the one tool I do use, um, so it's the server tools. Now there's the DS job manager. You just want to put your um, your primary site server there. It's connecting, it's successful, and it'll give you an overview of the distribution points. Now, um, I don't have anything running right now. Uh, you can do distribution point info. You can you can select all. Uh, there's only one distribution point, so I don't have um, that selected right now. And then you can monitor all of the content. Like when you distribute content, you can see. You know what content is being distributed what distribution point is being distributed to so you can take a look at you know how the package ID the, the size and the progress start time and all of that stuff so you can monitor that so I use this tool mostly for that but it's still a helpful tool something and also like a content ownership tool this is if you have multiple primary sites and you want to transfer um, let's see I want to do all packages let's say I want to just transfer um, let's say this package say I want to change the site ownership to another site so if I have another site I can say okay I want to you know um, transfer this package to another site so that I hit apply and it'll actually transfer this package to another um, uh, site and what have you so this is a great way so this is specifically site ownership to assign a new site that will be managing new packages so this is a great little tool for that um, and you can also view the logs when you're doing that. Um, so this is a great little tool for that. <clears throat> so, and then also to see a CE viewer. Um, see, this is a collection evaluation viewer. So basically, uh, if you connect to this one, you can see um, all the collections that you have in your environment. So if you wanted to take a look, you can see you know the collection ID, uh, the runtime, uh, the last time we did evaluation, the next evaluation time, like because it's you know, like most collections are done, they do the schedule every week, unless you specify uh, a different schedule like every 24 hours or whatever you want to do. Uh, so this gives you information about the collections that you have in your environment. Um, so this is a great tool for that. If you're trying to troubleshoot any kind of collection related issues or if you're just trying to you know take a look at what's going on so this gives you some information about your collection there's also queries that you can run that give you that same reporting information if you wanted to run a report uh, but this is another good tool to use for that and that's basically it for that um, so let's take a look at another tool let's see we talked about that okay let's talk about the right click tools that's the, um, the one tool I use a lot 
Um, so I've already in downloaded, installed the right click tool. Now, once you install that, you don't need to reboot um, the, the server or where you've installed the right click tools. So here under client action, you can, uh, you can do an application deployment evaluation cycle. You can do a hardware inventory, do a machine policy. You can do a software. Um, these are like agent related um, stuff. Um, if you go to the client uh, tools, that was client action to client tools. You can add devices to a collection. Um, you can get client information. You can actually install missing um, software updates uh, here. You can actually um, rerun a deployment. You can restart a um, SMS agent host on that machine. You can run a, rerun a client check. Um, you can stop um, activities if there's some other issues. You can actually show um, the collection. Like if I click on this, it'll tell me all the collections that this machine is a member of. It also can tell me all the maintenance window. This is also has applied to this machine. So it's just great. It tells you a lot of great information. So let me go back in here. And if you go to console tools, you can actually restart systems. You can actually open up the... Um, manage computer so this will actually launch the computer manager you can look at the event viewer you can look at the um, local administrative groups you look at performance you can do a bunch of stuff in here now what i normally use this for is like i'm looking at the um you know like the ccme valve sometimes it'll fail so i'll look in here and see what's going on look at the history uh, sometimes i'll rerun it or i'll delete it and restart the sms host and that'll actually recreate that task and so I can kind of do this all in the back end without having to remote into a machine. So there's that. So this is a great tool for that. Uh, I can ping systems. I can run a PowerShell script on this machine. I can look at group, local group members. Um, there's a bunch of stuff I can do. I can go to the C dollar sign or I can do an 80 security groups to check out that. So there's this tool. Is, I use a lot for a lot of different things, as you can see. It's a great tool. It's a very popular tool that a lot of people use when it comes to, um, you know, doing some, you know, administrative task in your environment. Um, and PowerShell. So PowerShell, if you um, click on here and go to PowerShell, it'll actually bring up the PowerShell. Um, and let's say I want to, I want to get. Okay, so I'm going to get. Um, Get command module configuration manager. Now, this running that command will show you all the different cam commandlets that are available in SSM. You can do a bunch. There's like hundreds of them in here. You can set different things. You can create collections. There's a whole bunch of stuff, and there's articles out there. I'm not going to go into detail what's what you can do here, but as you can see, there's a ton of things you can do within PowerShell to automate some of their tasks, like uh, creating collections, creating software update groups, uh, you know, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. So that's just a couple examples. And as you can see, there's a ton, a ton of stuff you can do here. So this is another great way to automate some functions that you do on a weekly or a monthly basis. So take a look at the PowerShell commandlets. Um, again, if you have any questions or comments about any of these tools, let me know in the comment section below. Um, there's one last tool that I want to talk about, and that is the um, task manager monitor, which is great. So when you launch this, this will, um, now I don't have any task sequence right now. I, bench, I will be, um, I'm going to be um, doing some videos on Windows 10 imaging and stuff other task manager related items like installing the apps or uninstalling some stuff and components that you uh, want to do using task manager so i'll be showing you that so that's why i don't have anything listed here but you can select the task that you want to monitor you can look at the uh, computer name you can see all of the if you have if you have integrated mbt you can check this box um, there's a whole bunch of stuff and it'll give you a list of uh, information about What's going on with that task sequence? You know, um, especially like if you're seeing duplicates in your environment, what's going on? Sometimes you'll find someone's re the machine a bunch of times and you'll actually see that here. Uh, so this is a great tool to monitor your task sequence um, and what's going on there. And that's basically it. Those are kind of like the, the top seven tools that I use in my environment. 
uh, pretty much on a daily basis um, to troubleshoot and monitor what's going on in my environment. Again, if you have any questions about any of these tools or if there's any other tools that you guys use, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe. There's going to be a lot more content coming your way. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.